it is mid-October 2016 and the next project is coming around uh, it's going to be changing out my old auto helm instruments which work fine except for the wind and I'm not sure why I think it's the cable going between the mast and the helm I played with it some but good lord they're 20 something years old and, and they're good instruments and I should probably just fix it and keep the good old stuff and not spend the money but for various reasons, I went ahead and I ordered new Garmin instruments. Um, my understanding from other people I've talked to is that they're not going to be making these anymore. They're becoming more and more proprietary. And this is the, hopefully, uh, hopefully, this is probably the last chance to get the really open, non-proprietary type stuff. Um, Good stuff they're really nailing down them I could go in a big explanation of, of what they're doing to them from what I understand but not doing that uh, I ordered the set with the wireless when the, the mast head unit um, the one gauge and the speed depth temperature transducer and I'm having the same problem my neighbor is that just ordered his is I'm sorry it is like nine o'clock at night and I'm just starting to play with this stuff Plus, it's all NEMA 2000, the whole communication thing. I'm, I'm into controls. I'm into gadgets. That's what I do for a living. Now, excuse the bilge. This is original paint, an 85 boat. And this is something I hadn't dealt with yet. The difference in the, the sole over here, I had to replace this. This is actually birch. Uh, I needed something temporary to replace it with. And actually, I like it better than the Teak and Holly. I wish I could do all the sole like that. I think it kind of looks nice. But So... Um, you see it's a little wet down here. This is an old one. This is an old through hole that when the boat comes out of the water, that one's going away. There's no reason for it to be here. It's just one more potential for a leak. This is speed. This is depth. This is the, the new Garmin speed, depth, temp, all in one. That should be enough cable. Hopefully that's enough cable to get back to where I need to. Um, the new through hole. hole. I did pull that one out which gushed water but yeah it's a boat and it'll soak in and this one's got this little cool little closey valve in it kind of hard to see I'm sure that when you pull the thing out the pressure goes up against it and stops almost all the water from coming out that was kind of interesting but the difference in the new stuff and this is just a plug for the old one and the old stuff the shaft is about the same but the very head of it is different so this one comes with a new plug also so if you ever need to pull this out and you're having problems you shove this back down in the hole um, but this is going to be the next project and the rest of it I can do out of the water but I'm going to have to have which I'm just fine with plugging up two of the three through holes here and replacing it with this guy the one new air mad through hole. Not sure where I'll put it yet. Um, whichever one has the best angle. Probably this inside guy here is going to have the best angle. That one or that one. Not sure. Maybe there. That'd be a good spot for it. What do you think? Yeah, we'll go with that. So it'll go here. Decision made. Uh, there's an arrow. I will have to read the directions. I assume that is forward wouldn't make any sense to make an arrow reverse but that's the new instrument it's amazing the technology speed and this reads depth and water temperature and that will go in that hole and these two will be plugged up this is my shower sump pump uh, it used to sit back here but it just works better up here with uh, with what I've got it needs to be screwed down on the floor it does bounce around a little when it's pumping but this shelf actually just needs to go away don't use it nice little shelf well it's probably been in there 30 something years don't need it anymore but we'll bring you along with that project um, yeah we'll see how it goes